Well, welcome back to Remote Sensing Applications. In this session, what we're going to do is something called supervised classification. And the basic idea is we're going to use sample polygons from known cover types and then extract pixel values within each polygon to get uh, spectral statistics from those pixel values within each cover type polygon. And then based on those representative samples, we'll go to every pixel in our image and predict the cover type of each raster pixel. So that's basically what supervised classification is. So let's take a hypothetical example. Let's say this is our satellite image and we have a trending polygon from an area that's vegetated or unburned. Then we have another training polygon from an area that's burned. And let's say that this is a band that's in the shortwave infrared uh, part of the spectral region. So if it's in the shortwave infrared spectral region, the burn will be drier and have less shadow. It will have, on average, a higher reflectance or a higher digital number in the pixels. And the under unburn will have more shadow and more moisture. It will have a lower value. So since this is a hypothetical example, let's say the unburned pixels on average are digital numbers of 20, and the burned pixels on average have pixel values of on average 30, and the variation between pixels is the same within unburned versus burned pixels inside these two polygons. So then once we have our representative sample from our trending polygons, we'll use some classifier to basically predict for every pixel what training polygon each pixel is more likely to come from. And one type of classifier is something called the maximum likelihood classifier. And it basically assumes a bell-shaped likelihood or a normal distribution peaking at the means. So if you remember, our unburned polygon had a mean value of 20 from the pixel values and our burn polygon had a mean value of 30 from within that burned training polygon. So basically, this bell-shaped curve represents the likelihood for any pixel value. So for example, if we have a pixel value of 20, this is the likelihood that that pixel should be classified as being a burn pixel, as opposed to a much higher likelihood that it should be classified to be an unburned pixel. Contrast that with a value of 30, it has a low likelihood that it came from the unburned training polygon, a much higher likelihood that it came from the burn training polygon. Let's say we have a pixel value of 40. Well, it has a low likelihood that it comes from a burn polygon, but still that likelihood is higher than the likelihood that it came from an unburned polygon. So it's always, which is the maximum likelihood? Did it come from this distribution or is a pixel value from this distribution? And since this is a simple example, we've got a tie. So in this simple example, we've got a value of 25 has an equal likelihood to come from an unburned uh, polygon or a burned polygon. In real life, you won't have a tie because the mean value won't be exactly at 20.0000, and the mean value from this polygon won't be exactly at 30.000. So our breaking point would be something like maybe 25.1367. So the pixel values are integers, and this tie point won't be an integer in real life. Okay, so in this example, we have our maximum likelihood classifier. The values that are less than 25, we would classify to be unburned, predicted to be unburned. So we'll give them a value of zero for unburned. So any pixel value that's less than 25 becomes classified as a zero for unburned. And then any pixel value above 25 in this example will become classified to be predicted to be burned. And then as our final step, we can color code all the pixels that were predicted to be unburned green, and we could color code all the pixels that are burned to be some burn color. 
Okay, so let's take a simple example in ArcMap. We've got a one-band uh, raster ranging with values from 0 to 49, and let's give that a color ramp. So maybe a color ramp like this, and invert it. Okay, so if you remember, the low values in the shortwave infrared were from unburned, and the higher values were from burned in our simple example. So what we have is training polygon, and what we could do is symbolize these training polygons. So if we go to symbology under layer properties, symbolize using a category. So we're going to symbolize using a field, the name field, and then add all the different values for that field. So in this case, we've got two. So we'll give burn some burn color and unburned some unburned color. And then OK. So now we've got our two training polygons. And what we're going to do is use those two training polygons and extract the statistics of the pixel values that are inside each training polygon. Okay, so our input raster is band1integer.tiff, and then the input feature is our training polygons, and then we're going to use each polygon that has a different value for this field will get the pixel statistics about it, and then you can output your signature file, It'll have an extension gsg, and it'll actually be a text file, and then compute the variation, so compute covariance matrix. Okay, since we're outputting to a text file, we're going to output to some folder. So I'm going to output to C test, and the name of my GSG file will be spectral stats within polygons.gsg. And it'll be simply a text file. And then just OK. Okay, so the resulting text file, basically the input raster is uh, the first band of this single band raster. There's two classes in our training fields. There's one band, so we're going to get um, one layer basically. So our first class is all those pixels within the unburned rectangle training polygon. And there's this many pixels within that polygon, and the average value of those pixels is 19.5 as opposed to all the pixels within the burned rectangle, their average value is uh, 29.5. Okay, so then we can use this information to go to every pixel and predict, is it more likely to come from this polygon or is it more likely to come from the burned polygon? Okay, so the next step is to use this maximum likelihood classification tool so our input raster is the same original single band raster. Input signature file is our GSG file. And then we're going to output to some TIFF raster. And then basically take the defaults for everything else. So what this tool does is it uses the mean and variation information from within this text file. And then it goes to every pixel and basically says, is it more likely that this pixel came from our first polygon, unburned, or is it more likely that this pixel came from our second polygon, the burned polygon, based on those spectral statistic values? And it just does that for every pixel in this image. So then we say OK, and the result is our prediction or classified raster. So we've got all those pixels that were more likely to come from the unburned polygon are in green, and those pixels that are more likely to come from the burned polygon are color-coded red. Okay, so if you go to the Blackboard website, repeat these identical steps using the data that you downloaded from this week, and then I'll ask you some quiz questions that will lead you to the next video session.